Burgers, fries, and drinks. What more could you need? How nice. That's stinking garbage, and I have no particular interest in it. This chain of lights is going to stay dark to me. My mother keeps her pots and pans and that kind of stuff in these cupboards. Somewhere here there was, aha, a flat dish. Exactly what I need to develop the pictures. All right, I've got everything I need to develop the pictures. It's gonna take a bit of time, so let's get going. Got the pictures. Huh. They've come out quite well, considering the conditions I had to develop them in. All the stuff that I need for developing is in the bathtub. I hope I won't be needing it for a while. I'm just gonna take any slide projector. I wish I could make some reprints of some of the pictures, but there's no more photo paper left. But I'm gonna keep at least one. choice. I can't believe I've got to scrabble around in my mother's private things so the damn insurance company doesn't let her die. I mean, what are they gonna do if I can't find any proof that my mother transferred that money? Throw her out of the door in her bed? All right, come on, Darren. This puzzle's more difficult than I thought. Huh. A little wooden box. I've never seen it before. Ah, there's Mum's transfer book. That's what I was looking for. I'll take both. Pencils. Run-of-the-mill pencils. A packet of cigarettes. Is Mom a secret smoker? This kind of stuff. Uh, let's see. Huh. I reckon that these are my mom's account transactions. This is the rent, and here's 18 bucks, 45 to the phone company. Aha! Uh -huh. And here's the transfer to the insurance company. 
that's from last month. So she has paid. Those guys need to kick up the butt. What's this? A letter? Dear Rebecca, I have received your letter and am pleased that you're well. Of course, I will furthermore send you the full amount. Your suggestion is well intended and I wouldn't have expected anything else from you. But there's absolutely no question about your receiving any less, even if he has now left home. You have done a wonderful job and it's now time that you did something for yourself. Enjoy your life in Maine. With love, C. Strange. The full amount. Even if he's out of the house now? What's that all about? Here's my mom receiving a fat payment from... Uh, a $1,500 transfer from a bank in England. BCW Bank. Willow Creek Branch. Willow Creek? That name's familiar. Mom used to live in England, but was it in this uh, Willow Creek? And who is this C character? And why is he sending her money? Here it is again. And there! She seems to get the same amount every month. It seems to be practically her only source of income. I don't get it. She always told me she got a monthly injury compensation payment from insurance of the guy who caused the crash, which also killed my father. I definitely wasn't supposed to see that. Suppose it didn't really matter to me either. It's just that... It's just not like my mother to keep secrets from me. I... I'll ask her why she's... lied to me as, as soon as she gets better. Hi. Hello, Mr. Michaels. What can I do for you? I have my mother's bank transfers here. She's already paid for the damn insurance. I was thinking the same thing myself. You know, the insurance company has made a boo-boo. Can I have them? Don't worry, I'll get on it. So that will be the end of it then? Yes, I'll clear it all up with them. Good. I'll go and visit my mother one more time, and then I'll get ready to go out. And you think that the guy is following me? A student from England? Why? No idea. I, look, I didn't say that he is following you. I, I only said that he might be. Perhaps it's me he's following. It's all right, Darren. I didn't mean to upset you. What's wrong with you? Oh, I don't know. It's just all too much for me at the moment. My mom's in the hospital, there's this thing with England, and then this guy. Which thing with England? Yeah, well, my mom, she gets money from England. A, a village called Willow Creek. Do you know it? Uh, yes. I even know roughly where it is. I think it's a place where my mom worked as a cook. And she still gets money from there? Her <laughs> plum pudding must be heavenly. <laughs> That's the thing. I mean, that's more than 20 years ago. Who's sending her over a thousand dollars every month? And for what? I found this box next to the bank transfers. Huh. I've never seen it before. And that coat of arms with the three lions? That's an English emblem, isn't it? It is. What exactly are you doing? I just thought you maybe wanted to see what's inside. You know how to open it? There were thousands of these caskets produced in the 19th century. There's a special kind of lock mechanism that's supposed to keep curious people out. Well, it didn't really work. What's inside? A photo. A 
A man and a woman in front of a wrought iron gate. Is that your mum? And the man, is that your father? Is there anything written on the back? Black Mirror Castle, Willow Creek, England, October 1969. What's wrong? My mom. Darren? Do you... Do you think she looks five months pregnant? Darren Michaels? My name's Conley. I'm captain of the local police department. Huh. Are you gonna arrest me? No, we're not. But we need to talk to you. May I come in? Uh, sure. So? You work in Fuller's photo studio, is that right? Not anymore. Not since yesterday. Not anymore. Why? The work atmosphere. I... I quit. Quit? Or were you thrown out? Was there an argument? Why? Has something happened to Fuller? Please say yes. Well, yes. Have you arrested him? Or did someone beat him up in a dark alley? Would you be happy about that? Only if it was painful. He's dead. He was stabbed to death in the early hours of the morning. We're still counting the wounds. Can you tell us anything about that? No. Nothing you'd find fitting. Someone must have been pretty angry with old Mr. Fuller. How angry were you with him, Darren? So angry that I don't feel sorry that he's dead. But I've got nothing to do with it. L look, I saw him for the last time yesterday afternoon when he threw me out. And you haven't been in the store since then? No. Darren. We found your fingerprints. Of course. I worked there. On the safe. Was that part of your job? Look, what do you want? Where were you last night? I was in Biba's diner with a friend. Correct. Angelina Morgan. You haven't known her very long, have you? Do you have to be engaged if you want to go out with a woman in this town? Very funny. Only if you did know her better, you might be able to explain why Miss Morgan murdered Mr. Fuller. What? She was practically caught red-handed. Practically? She was standing over Mr. Fuller's corpse, covered in blood. The whole thing could have only been clearer if we had a notarized, certified video of the murder. That's crazy. Perhaps she found Fuller dead and wanted to help him. That's what she claims, too. And what was she doing in Fuller's store in the middle of the night? What do I know? Ask her. We have. She says she was told to go there by a man on the phone. By the guy following her? Correct. By a stranger. That's why I'm here. Miss Morgan says that you told her about... about her... pursuer. Yeah, absolutely. And, and the hotel owner saw him too. I've already been to see him. He confirmed that someone was asking after Miss Morgan, but he couldn't give us a proper description. Did you get a proper look at the man? I did. Um... His eyes are close together, and... Not here. Come down to the station. We can do a photo fit there. What about Angelina? Yeah. Well, let's see what the guy you saw has to say about all this. Give me a break. If he was the one who called, he's not gonna admit it. If there was a call in the first place. 
Please, come as soon as possible. We need that photo fit. No, that's not him. The hairline was higher. Like that, perhaps? No, it was more... Can't you just let me have a go at it? Sure. Look, here are the various chin shapes and eyebrows and so on. Yeah, I was watching you. I get the idea, okay? You can change things using the arrows. When you're happy with it, click on save and... All right, I've got it. Okay, okay. Let me know when you're finished. Hmm. Okay. The quicker the police find this guy, the quicker I can help Angelina. What did he look like again? So? Ah, uh, that's him. The guy that followed me and Angelina looked like that. Hmm. I don't know him. Perhaps a tourist. You also said he spoke with an accent. Exactly. What now? We'll post the pictures around town and invite the gentleman in for a talk. And Angelina? Yes. Well, she's. Oh, Angelina! Darren! It wasn't me! You've got to get me out of here! They want to pin this on me! I know, but, but we'll get this sorted out. They want to charge me this afternoon! You've got to... You've got to somehow... Come on, Miss Morgan. Darren! I'll get you out of here! I I'll think of something! Come on, Darren. Leave me alone! I'm gonna find out what's going on here. She is innocent. What was her motive? That's the thing. We don't know. Look, others had a motive. Full of blackmailed people. Is that so? It, Mrs. Biba from the diner? She paid Fuller. Lots of money. How do you know that? Is that important? She had a motive. A and what about that guy? He was at Fuller's yesterday. We didn't find any money in Fuller's store, and this gentleman's a witness. Nothing else. As far as the alleged blackmailing is concerned, have you any evidence? Evidence? Ask Mrs. Biba. And she's gonna tell us if she was blackmailed by Fuller? She... put her under pressure. Based on your speculation? No, that's not enough. We need evidence. Or at least something that would suggest blackmail before we can move on it. And until then, our only suspect is over there behind bars. Fine. Then I'll get a hold of the evidence. Where do I start? I need evidence that Fuller was a blackmailer. But what did he blackmail Mrs. Biber with? And was it just her or were the others? I bet the secret door in his basement has something to do with it. But how do I open it? Has Fuller still got the key on him? I've got to find out. 